This is a Garmin EcoMap fish finder, and I want to make it portable so that I can put it on multiple boats, fishing boat or family boat. So I, got, I added some wires here with some ends so that it's easier to take it on and off the battery. I extended the wire that came with it because it wasn't, sure, wasn't long enough. And I've got a Vexlar uh, suction cup transducer mount. And after the first attempt, it works okay. It's a pretty good product, but it only came with two suction cups. One was on the bottom and the other one was on the top. And it came off of my boat two times with only two suction cups. So I called Vexlar and they sent me two more suction cups. So here I've got now two on the bottom and I've drilled holes to put two more on the top. And that's because the transducer for the Garmin EcoMap is really large. So you have to make sure that you mount these far enough apart that they can that they expand when you suction them to the back of the boat. Here's the two new ones that came in the mail. And uh, here's the back of my boat, the fishing boat. This is the Vexlar package. It's called a suction cup bracket BK0044. And again, I think this is a pretty good product. It was really easy to drill holes through because it's plastic. Plastic was easy, much easier than wood. Shouldn't be made out of wood anyway, but the plastic is good. And I've got my two suction cups on here, and I've already drilled my two holes on the edges. You gotta drill them all the way on the edges for them to fit when the suction cup expands. And it was one quarter inch drill bit that you need. And now I'm just gonna put the other two suction cups on with the bolts that were included in the package. Okay, make sure the transom of your boat is flat before you even attempt to buy one of these because the suction cup's got to be mounted on flat. But here we go, we've got four suction cups on this Vexlar transducer mount instead of two. Two was okay, but again, it fell off twice, so I called them and they were nice enough to send me two more with mounting hardware for the low price of $5.04 plus shipping. So for that five bucks, I don't expect this ever to fall off now. Let's see if it goes on. So I like to mount my transducer just a little bit above the bottom of the hull. That way when you're going fast, the water pressure doesn't try to rip it off, whether it's bolted on or not. So some people don't do that because it could interfere with the signal, but I like mine to be above the bottom of the hull, which it is. So it looks like this is really strong. It's never going to come off of there now like it did with two suction cups. Four seems to be the, the real deal. And now I can mount this. Garmin fish finder on either the fishing boat or the family boat over here and I can easily take it on and off the batteries with the two little ends I put on it and got some wing nuts on the batteries so it's easy to transport from one boat to the other although most of the time it'll be on the fishing boat I would guess and I've already mounted the the, the mount onto the dashboard of the fishing boat here and when I take it into the family boat I'm just going to leave it sitting on the dash so that it leaning against the window so it's readable. So that's how you can make your fish finder a lot more portable. <laughs>